in the United States alone, forget worldwide, because worldwide the weather has just been a freak show. Yeah. I said, in the United States, I said the amount of powerful tornadoes that are hitting in clusters, highly unusual. I said, and if you look at the towns that are getting pretty much demolished by them, look at the amount of 5G towers you've got, and then look at the amount of interference that they don't have. I said, the problem with like bigger cities is those 5G towers actually have a bunch of interference from other towers, other frequencies. The larger the population, the harder it is to saturate. Do you understand? Yeah. And so, you know, again, we're looking at three very, very good suspects as to what could be causing such a huge charge in the atmosphere. I said, now, and then throw in the solar flares on top of it. Sees the larger the population. So it's, uh, mm. Yeah. I said, I think, you know, so they're trying to, I said, to bring Armageddon about on purpose. So I said, and then you've got the Vatican this week who was, who did their press conference on supernatural events. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so come on. You're just going to throw a blue beam into the mix. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, I, uh, I've just recently been doing a, uh, sir, uh, research on the, believe it or not, it's the Amorite, the ones that are the Amish. And I, I found out uh, the history of how they started their uh, religious organization. It was when they were, especially, well, they broke off away from the uh, Protestants and the Catholics. And the reason why they did it is because they started doing research on astronomy and everything, and it had to do with Jupiter and eclipses yep and that that right there got me interested in that category and like right now i'm trying to do a series it's called uh well i have I, i'm i'm not like doing a like scheduled tv thing or streaming thing it's just that like when i get the right people to do it you know to talk about about those things I'm, uh, or each category, and that's one of them that I'm wanting to get into, like, when it comes to Jupiter and, uh, the rotation of the Earth and things of that nature, and I'm calling it Into the Abyss, and, uh... Well, and if you look at, even if you look at Mars, and you look at the fact that the human, basically the human body is more set up to <laughs> the existence on Mars... Yeah. Than it would be for the existence on Earth. And, you know, again, I, and I've said this could all just be, again, you forget he controls the knowledge, controls how you learn it. Right. I was like, so it, it could just be misinformation on top of misinformation. But I said it has to, a child, you have to, yep, sorry, I'm in a hallway. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you have to, I'm literally, believe it or not, I'm at a hotel <laughs> in South Florida because oh, I'm working. Yeah. Well, don't forget to, I, I hop in early, but I do that as a habit because of just being, you know, doing shows for so many years. It's like, you know, yeah. just jump in early just in case anything that could go wrong probably will. Yeah. So, that's, that's exactly. Always air with caution. That's what, exactly why I do what I, I do ahead of time too, but like uh, with summer, in uh, Austin, it's pretty interesting because, like, every time I've ever done a stream with them, just stuff starts screwing up. And they were telling me their story about uh, Summer's daughter, Austin's sister, and she, every time she gets around like electrical stuff, it, it just fries out. That's how I actually first met those two. That's funny with me. It's it's interesting, and I'm. I know you said that on the show when we were interviewing you, and I was I was kind of laughing on my end. My husband actually started really laughing, because one of the things with me is if I get angry, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons I control my temper with every ounce of. Yeah, it's pretty strange. It really is. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm like everybody else. I first heard, summers. Uh, um, interview and I was like yeah okay you know it, it just I processed it and everything but then when I started working with her on her show and stuff and getting it all set up with it I mean it just constantly happens little bitty things you know what I mean it's, yep. it's really strange Mark, Mark used to 
used to laugh because he used to say anything that will go wrong will go wrong when Nancy's on the air. <laughs> and I, well, I say to him, and he, I said, that's not even a temper. That's just, you know, if I get excited about something. Or I said, if I'm angry, though, that's when you're <laughs> really in big trouble. Because <laughs> I said, I just, I don't know why I push out an energy wave when I get angry, but I do. I was like, and my, my husband, Raphael, was like, oh, yeah. Yep. He's He's been with me. We, <laughs> there was a period of time there when my daughter was a teenager when I thought we were going to have to, like, buy stock in light bulbs <laughs> because she got free. But, uh, you know, like I said, you if anything, it taught me to control that yeah. in a huge way um, to the point where now when I do paranormal investigations, I actually am very careful about who I surround myself with because yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to fry people's equipment <laughs> and there's certain people. I have this one person on my team. Oh my God, I love her. She's one of my oldest friends, but she has a very bad case of ADHD and trust me, it happens every time. In fact, I, now I tell her she's my review person. She gets to review all the audio and stuff like that, but she cannot go in on a location with me. Because I end up wanting to literally strangle her within like <laughs> I don't know forty feet of being inside <laughs> because she's she just it, it she gets so excited and she she'll ask me questions and questions and questions to the point where I can't even focus on what I'm doing and I'll be like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay before I'm... you join the non-living. <laughs> Tell her you're going to be talking to her in the afterlife pretty soon if she doesn't shut that trap hole. Dude, I had to fly to Atlanta, Georgia with this woman for Dragon Con because I had to do a thing at Dragon Con with Patrick Burns years ago. Uh -huh. And freaking, I literally asked a stewardess. We were stuck on the plane from Tampa to Atlanta, which is a 40-minute flight, two hours on a plane because of storm systems. And it by the time we were actually descending and we heard the four bings at 10,000 feet, I looked at the stewardess and I was like, can I open up the door, the emergency door and throw her out now? Are we safe if I do that? I die and decompress and all that. We're good pressure wise. <laughs> and she was like, the stewardess looked at me, but she was like, yeah, she goes, you look like you really wanted to shoot yourself about, ooh, an hour and a half ago. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can. It sounds like it. Freaking it. I have to hold. I have to hold my uh, my st refrain from saying anything about it. Like I've got so many people that do that to me whenever, whenever I'm, like even on the streams and all, everywhere. Like just completely, it drives me nuts. And uh, I don't know what to say. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be just stuck there, and, and you're you're right there in the middle of it, you know, and you can't. Yeah. That's crazy. To say I've been been at it for a very long time, long enough to think I know everything. You know, I have a feeling that you know we're going to become up close and personal with a lot of this in the very near future. So it's uh, whether it's true or false, whether it's made up or you know whatever they're doing. I have a feeling there's going to be some real. Exposure, exposure and disclosure in the near future. Yep. It's, you know, well, they are, they do. And the thing is, is we don't even have a lot of background on China. And, you know, there's a lot of belief in China. I've always said that. Talk to the Japanese. Talk to, you know, ask them what the Chinese believe, because they are, they're very familiar with the culture. Mm -hmm. I was like, and the Japanese will tell you, they have a deep respect for a lot of things yeah. that we look at as bullshit. And these are not stupid races. I said the Jap the Oriental races are not dumb. They've been around a long time. Yeah, I uh, I, I I agree with you on that too. And uh, the weirdest thing I've noticed, like uh, I've been meeting quite a few people who are Buddhists, and the weird part is, is like when it comes to asking them things about like Shambhala and uh, and and their take on on uh nagas and and things of that nature it, it seems like they're all paranoid to even talk about it I've, every, every single person i've known has referred me to somebody else and they've referred me to somebody else and you know just constantly it's like they don't even want to have a discussion about it 
Do you ever think it was? It might be because they don't have enough knowledge. Well, that too, but it just seems strange. All of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like <laughs> Buddhism right now. Okay, Buddhism right now is the popular belief. Yeah. It's one of those. It's one of the new age, newfound, which is bullshit because it's is as old as any other religion. It's in fact older than Christianity, but it's one of those things where it's like it's popular right now to to call it Buddhist and Buddhism doesn't make you bend the knee to anybody yeah it's true yeah it makes it all the more popular and it's interesting because i always tell people the closest thing to what i believe is probably a mixture of buddhism and native american beliefs yeah you push those two together and you've got where i'm at then trace it over with science yeah at least that we can theorize yeah so it's I, I was like, and it comes just from years of self-examination and years of trying to find answers and not mystical ones. I want freaking solid answers. Yeah, that's the way so I feel about it, too. I, well, we were talking about that, too. Like, I, I believe that someday, you know, science will answer a lot of the questions when it comes to, like, the afterlife and things like that. It's just you got to give it time to catch up, you know? I think you've got to give it time to catch up and you've got to remove the blinders yeah. from humanity. Yeah. I mean, those blinders tell people that all the time. They're, they, they are installed, you're indoctrinated from the time you're born. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a choice to either remove the blinders or not. And people are just too afraid. They're too afraid to look. You know, it's almost like they, they want to be condemned to this life of constant fear I, I think uh, and I don't understand it I think another big issue that I mean this is just from my perspective but like if you take a look at the way uh, astro astronomy or astrology started out especially um, when it or astronomy yeah astro no, astro astronomy is the one where they they stare out at the sky and and uh, mark the stars and stuff like that I, I keep getting them mixed up <laughs> but uh if you notice how how that started out they wanted to center us around everything and then when they found out that the sun was the center of the solar system of course that sun had to be the center of everything you know and i i think that's what the problem is is we're so self-centered we're stuck on ourselves and it has to rotate around us. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, yeah. But that's always been mankind's greatest weakness. It's, you know, we think we're the weakness. That. Mm -hmm. It's like even with like uh, aliens and stuff. You know, everybody jumps on the boat. How these are supposed to be like spiritual and uh, higher intelligent creatures that are more than what we are and there's no evidence backing that up none there's no there's no evidence backing any of it up right. i mean the only the only thing i could say might be a little evidential to that would be okay so if we do have recovered materials from alien crashes nobody's ever come and tried to violently retrieve them yeah. so <laughs> we have that we do have that i, I just take nature you know, everyday life, okay, when you when you go outside and you look around and you see, like, how the animals behave and how nature behaves, and then you look at all that, 